Okay, although this is strictly not necessary in order to use a Mac computer, I'm going to show you one application that I do bring up on an occasional basis. I'm going to go down to the launch pad. Sorry, I've it's disappeared to the other screen. Here we go. I'll go to the launch pad. And I've got an application in here called Activity Monitor. Everybody has it. The Activity Monitor is a program that will show you what your computer is currently doing right now. And this can be useful if you, if you suddenly notice your machine is running really slow or if the fans are running really, really high because your machine is getting extra hot. Uh, sometimes you can go and you can take a look and see what is going on. And this view right here, I don't, I won't go through all of these tabs, but I do like the CPU one. And quite often what I will do is I will sort according to CPU from biggest to smallest. And you can see right now that the program which is running the most, well, it was Activity Monitor. Now it's some kind of an encoder service. Hey, look at this. You can see that there's a screen capture. Yeah, but it's probably because I'm actually recording the screen as I'm going right now. All of the applications that are currently running, you will see here, and you will see some extra things. For example, here's the thing called RStudio. If we scroll down, hey, here's Microsoft Word. Now, if I start doing things like I start opening up applications, um, what should we do? Okay, let's try the calendar. So I'm going to move this just over to the edge. We'll start the calendar and chances are we'll see it appear in the activity monitor for a few seconds. Okay, now did we? Mm, it probably didn't stay uh, for very long. Okay, uh, sometimes this happens. So let me close up this one and let me start up another application that might take a little bit more time. Let me start up something called Visual Studio Code. Okay, and let's see, does it use up some... CPU. Ah, perfect. Okay, so we saw Visual Studio Code used a little bit of CPU time while it got going. And the idea is that, hey, if these are down as low numbers, it's not a big deal. But if you see your CPU load, CPU load up around uh, 80 or 90 percent, uh, or possibly even higher, it could be an indication that something might be going wrong with your machine. And sometimes what I will do is I will take uh, those applications and I will shut them down or at least I'll do a quick search online to find out whether or not I should just let it finish.